there. Let me start over. <laughs> Get in the groove. All right. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I found this cute little runner. It was only 20 bucks at Ikea. I figured it'd be so cute on the porch or outside, but I needed a runner for my hallway. So I decided to do a little DIY magic and make it into something just a little bit more special. It'd be so cute to do polka dots all over. You could even just do a border. You could get kind of fancy and do like a little Greek key kind of a border. But I knew I wanted stripes. Stripes get a little tricky. I brought in a friend to help me because I start feeling really confused about things. But basically, I realized I wanted an odd number of stripes so that both ends of my rug would not have paint on them and then paint would just be in the middle. So that equaled about 11 stripes for me because I wanted them around seven inches. So going by seven inches, each part of the rug has its own little, I don't even know what you call it, little line that each is stitched together. So when it was seven inches, I just went, sometimes I went up a little bit, sometimes I went back a little bit because the actual measurement is like 7.1 something to do it exactly evenly. So some are a little longer, some are a little less, but it just kind of worked that way. The second tricky part with stripes, you have to be very careful about making sure and double checking and triple checking your width. So some that are blank where you're not painting, the tape needs to be inside and it looks extra narrow. And then where the paint is on the other one, it needs to be extra wide. So doing that, it's not even every other one. You have to like use the tape and be like really smart about the width. I don't know if I can explain that more, but you know what I mean. And if you start doing it, you'll really know what I mean. So my paint technique was to buy the cheapest paintbrush possible. My paintbrush I think was like $3 at Home Depot and I didn't want to use a ton of paint. I knew it would ultimately like just like seep through and it will seep through on the tape because you can't get the tape super tight. And I just know from painting stripes on walls, it bleeds a little bit. So in order to avoid the bleeding as much as possible, I kind of took not too much paint, put it across really well and it just kind of brushes out. I kind of use like the dap, dap, dap technique and that rug just really sort of absorbs the paint and it's really easy. The longest part of this is making sure your math is correct and making sure the tape is correct. Once you do that, it's so easy, it's awesome, I think it looks great and I'm really stoked with it. And also, I will link below to exactly the paint color that I used in case you wanna know, it's fair, I got it at Home Depot this morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked my project. Let me know in the comments below. You know me, I love a little easy DIY, add some paint on it, make it fabulous, make it your own. You could literally do this to any kind of jute rug you have, even if you have a big area rug. Yeah, so hope you guys like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.